Come here, jellyfish. Sounds like there's already music going on in there. Maybe Coach is okay. I see him. How does he look? Are there signs of Silurian poisoning? There are signs of something, all right. Hmm. I can't get in. His mental defenses are probably on high alert. You okay. You always cared so much about defense, darling. Ah, uh, there we go. Let me in. Oh, just Silurian poisoning looks okay, worse than you go. guys. Check it out. There's already music playing, and it's having no effect on him. Or his mental defenses could be causing a sort of mental echo chamber for the Silurian waves, inverting the results of music therapy. So, I should shut off the music? Yes! yes! Do whatever you can to disrupt his show and put an end to this music! Right. Commencing Operation Buzzkill. Fuck your music. <laughs> Uh. Oh, whoops. I think that actually made me more excited about the show. Keep trying. End this tasteless display. Fuck your music. Oh, rats. He liked that too. Carol doesn't like you. You don't have to be drunk. Come on. Fuck you, Harold. Think I care? Side blast. I like blasting things. Why didn't we do that before? Um, no one asked me. Oh fuck you, Sasha. My head feels good. Like it wants to blast something. Yeah, side blast. I like blowing shit up. Oh yeah. Yeah. You like my old self again. Fuck your music. Why is Coach Oleander out here spitting bars? Knock it off, Mr. DJ. Stop it. Stop. That glass looks pretty fragile. Hey, who's pouring cold water on my show? Uh oh. Is it good? Help! Somebody! I'm a singer, not a swimmer. What the fuck? You can't swim, but you can do all that. Just jump down, Coach. Oh, that's right. He can't hear me from here. Somebody! Coach Oleander, it's me, Raz. Raz? You gotta help me. Just swim out of here. I can lead you back to our location. I can't. Oh. I can't swim. No, with these stumpy legs. Oh, Fucking baby. Paul. I <laughs> you know Logan Paul was in this game. We'll find a way to help him somehow. Try to sound more confident. I'll, I'll get you. Oh, they got a thing down there, right? What what is this? Fucking Paul. Don't worry, I got you. Um I got you, Oleander. Just give me a mo oh. Would you hey, is that some sort of neat neat? Oh my god. Yeah. I wish the Navy could see me now. <laughs> You're weird. But it's still kind of cool, though. Yeah. I'm gonna poke you. Okay. Oh, Good. so that's what happened to these guys. They hit the cruise ship circuit. Coach, you did it! You're swimming! We will tell no one of your moment of fear, nor of your Silurian delusions. Delirium delusions? Does a soldier have to get poisoned to enjoy a little R and R around here? Never mind. What we need to do now is focus on getting out of here with Truman. 
We can get past these mutant fish guards pretty easily. Most of them are pretty harmless and stupid. Mutant fish creatures, you say? Mm -hmm. Yes, aquatic animals grotesquely enlarged and made somewhat ambulatory. Mm -hmm. I recently collaborated with an individual who had some expertise in that field. You haven't seen any dental equipment lying around, have you? Dental well, actually, equipment? I'm strapped into a chair right now that looks like it could belong to a mm -hmm. dentist. My God. Rasputin, get out of that chair. Mm -hmm. Get out of the chair. But I like the chair. The chair's comfy. See, there was this one time I tried to uh, take over the world. I got some help from a dentist slash brain surgeon. Brain slash surgeon. Lunatic. Everybody, shh. Slash yeah, comedian. No here, right? He was funny as fuck. Yeah, but I'm just a little freaked out. Where is he? What was that? <gasps> Hello. Oh. Dr. Lovato. Hey, have I seen you somewhere before? Uh, because if you're a new patient, then there is a lot of paperwork you'll need to fill out. Didn't you? Weren't you? The coach? Oh, listen, I'd appreciate if you didn't tell that little army man about my second job. As a freelance contractor, I do find the need to... Juggle clients from time to time. But I don't think he would like hearing that I was moonlighting. Just between you and me, I think that little fellow had a touch of halitosis. Am I right? But the customer is always right. And it's not like my new client doesn't have his own issues. I love his giant oh, smile. It's amazing. What's that? I'd be nothing without my professional ethics. Now, sit back, relax, and this icky procedure will be over in no time. Procedure? I'll be gentle. I have to. I get a bonus if I deliver your brain in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this little dance. Oh, what the hell? Coach Oleander, that mermaid tail in Mono Propulsor really worked. All right, you son of a bitch. Let me into your mind. All right, I'm going in. Are you sure about this, Doc? I'm sure this is what a psychonaut would do. Okay, I'm inside Dr. Lovato's mind, and I'm, I'm on a boat? Am I tied to the mast? Hey, you down there. First mate, what's going on? Why am I tied up? Is a storm coming? There's a monster lurking beneath these waves. A cursed, soulless leviathan that will never rest till it's dragged us down into the black abyss. How about we get the heck out of here then? You think we wouldn't sail to more friendly waters if we could? Look at that compass. Gone. Lost somewhere along the way. Can I? Can I use clear voice? To drive him. <laughs> oh God! He's here. Why is it getting darker? That's not good. What are you doing? What Saturday or shower that day? cap seems to be shock resistant, which is unusual for a shower cap. What are you doing? It won't budge. It's stuck on with something. Uh... It looks like I did some fire damage. Yeah, fire! Why did it be think of that? Okay, first mate Roboto. Monster Bottom comes back up. Do that trick to slow down time again. Okay, I'm going to need all the time I can get. Oh, he has a fucking <laughs> he has a colander. So I can burn that shower cap. Slow down time. Slow down time. If I can hold one of these things in the right position, I can pull off this helmet. He's 
got too good a grip on it. The hell? Uh. If I go over this thing, I can't pull off his helmet. He's got too good a grip on it. Wait, if I can do what now, Raz? What the fuck are you saying to me? doing with this oops lost control of it when it hit the ship gotta get another one what am I doing <laughs> uh. do I just throw it at him What the hell am I supposed to do? This guy is much tougher in his mind than in reality. Okay, I got it, right? Oh, I do blast it at him. Okay. What the hell are you about to do now? If we could just ruin this game for him, maybe he'd give up. I want to see him run towards the clock. Come on. <laughs> I love how he's kind of a simpleton. Ugh. The brain is under your shower cap? Why? Rap. Slow down time, jackass. I wonder if soaking in water has made those wooden toys Ow. less flammable. No. I can't burn soap. What am I thinking? Dark waters, take me now. So what am I waiting for uh the wooden toy? So just keep protecting the ship? Shut the... Shut up. What am I supposed to do? Keep perfectly still 
when you're looking at them, though. Let's you get yourself seasick. I think he means stereoscope, but I don't want to ruin the moment. I don't want to make things worse. Okay. What are you looking at there, Lobato? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Not sure what this place is, but it feels very private. I think I hit the memory mother load. Bye, son. Bye-bye. Have fun at the hospital. I know they'll take good care of you there. The procedure won't hurt a bit. We love you. Why isn't he leaving? Just keep waiting. The little monster will give up eventually. What the fuck? Uh, soon we'll be free of this devil child. What's going on in there? Uh, do I? Come in here where he can't hear us. I can't. I just can't take it anymore. He's just not natural. He's a monster. I've spoken to my colleagues at the hospital. They all agree on the diagnosis and what must be done. Will the procedure hurt him? Well, the ice pick is long, but it's very thin. And in the right hands. Oh, I don't care. I just don't care anymore. Just take him away and let this be over one way or another. Okay. Some pretty fucked up parents you got there. You hiding under the table? Come in here and look if you don't believe me. See? Every spoon! Every spoon fit! But how do you know it was I caught him red-handed? Except he wasn't using his hands! <sighs> okay, listen. I'll take him into the hospital with me tomorrow. Have some of the other doctors examine him. We need to be sure. After all, he is our son. Is he? You're fucked up. Your parents are fucked up. I don't want to use my powers inside this dollhouse. I this didn't is mean... a place where I should do more listening instead. Have I didn't mean... Or, shut the, the fuck up, Raz. I didn't mean to press the... Oh, my God. Oh, my I pressed the button by accident, Raz. God damn it, I didn't need your whole lecture. Imagine Raz standing here talking about, I'm not gonna use my powers in here. Instantly uses his powers. Oh, is that a baby Lobato? Look at our little angel. Our perfect boy. So sweet and peaceful. His whole life ahead of him. I can already tell he's going to be a doctor. Just like his old man. Or an architect. Or a lawyer. Maybe a dentist. God forbid. <laughs> hey. What's this teddy bear doing in his crib? You know the eyes aren't child safe. Don't look at me. He must have been the cleaning lady. Wait a second. You weren't crazy. You were just born a psychic. Holy smokes. Hey, the missing compass. So your parents took you and they took you and Oh, man.
Damn, Dr. Lobato. You got some fucked up parents. I think it's time we sail for new waters. Uh, it's about time. Oh, crackers. New waters. Dr. Lobato. How are you, um, feeling? Like a cavity that's just been filled. I've done terrible things. It's not too late to set things right. Attention, all guards! Release the patients! Bring them all here. And then swim home to your little... Families. There will be no more terrible experiments in this place. Great! Because I'm going to blow it to smithereens! What the hell? Self-destruction. Oh, come on, Lobato. You've got to be kidding me. I can't check behind me, so I want to help. Because it's about to blow up! That's clear to everybody, right? Somebody, somebody help me. What do I do? This water is coming in, darling. Brad, come help me carry my dad! Get me out the uh, chair! I can't move right now. Mia, help! Mia, I can help you hold back this water. This water is coming in, darling, even if all of us try to hold it back. You just find us a way out of here. On it. Warning. Sasha, let the record go. We've got to get out of here. Right after I get Warning. this scientific artifact away from this scientific abominant. Warning. Whatever, Sasha. That thing's tougher than it looks. Aha! Warning. Okay, now what? Let me in. Let me in. Let me help you through this window. Warning. Harold, where are you going? Jet! I said the jet! Where the fuck you go, Harold? I hope he doesn't fly off without us. I'm in. Time to take off and leave everyone else behind. Jeez, take a joke, Harold. Harold, what the fuck do I do? Everybody come out to the jet. I don't want to let go of this water, darling, until you get that jet started up. Understood. I'll get this bird ready to fly. Warning. Uh, buttons. Warning. I like buttons. Buttons are good. Warning. What the hell am no, I supposed to do? It's in the perfect position. Warning. Warning. How the hell do I fly this damn thing? Warning. Okay, one of these must start the thing. Warning. There we go. Works. Warning. External Cyrock. Oh. Do not attempt takeoff. What? Warning. Aha! I see the Cyrock now. Cyrock deactivated. The jet is cleared for takeoff. Come on, guys. Great work, darling. Self-destruct sequence complete. In T minus ten. Come on, Truman. Nine. Someone grab my body. Eight. Careful, Mia. Cargo here. Seven. Six. Where's me? Did it. Five. Guys. Four. Hey, hey, guys. Three. What about me? Don't just leave me here. 
Two. Guys? One. Detonation. Don't leave! Oh, hey. Relax, darling. We carried your body on board along with Truman. Come on. Think we'd leave a man behind? I also carried Mermoy. Sorry, I've been out of my body for a while. Of course, darling, and you were amazing. Now rest your body and your head. We're clear what the, the fuck? <laughs> Setting a course for Psychonauts headquarters. Dad, please wake up. I have so much to tell you. Oh. Your boyfriend? Oh shit. <laughs> That's not good. Well. <laughs> well, uh. Uh. It's time that you face. I guess that's <laughs> the game. <laughs> oh, all right. You know what? It was fun revisiting this game. It was fun. I'm a little speechless right now. <laughs> um, all right. So that was Psychonauts in the Ramens of Ruin. And I mean, hold up. <laughs> I got to lower the fucking, I got to lower the sound of my headset so I can get my thoughts together. So that's Psychonauts in the Ramens of Ruin. And it was a fun, nice game. Nice little, little distraction to get us ready for Psychonauts 2. Also, it's nice to have a, a story that connects it that that's that you can play and have fun with. And it's not it's not too important if you don't have it. But it's nice to have it instead of like what they used to do with like tie-in comics and shit like that. Even though some of the comics were pretty good, like for Mass Effect and stuff. But yeah, overall, this game this game's pretty nice. It uh it was a nice way to show off the PlayStation VR, right? A couple of problems I have. This game, uh, it's weird because it's weird because when it comes to PlayStation VR, you hear a lot of people say that it doesn't support full 360 motion, and that's not really correct because it does. It just doesn't do it well. Uh, because it uses the camera and the lights on the headset to track where you're at. Um, but this is this is a nice little game to play. I just find it weird that there are so many situations where you're supposed to kind of turn around and, and look behind you and stuff. Or I'm assuming they expect you to look behind you. When this game is made for seated play uh from my knowledge i don't think that this game is compatible with the move controllers for like standing and playing i think it's just meant to be a seated experience but it's weird that it's weird that they want you to look behind you so if you don't have like a a gamer chair or like a computer chair or whatever the hell uh if you're sitting in like a regular well not a regular but right now i'm playing this game in a recliner seat <laughs> so it's hard for me to turn around look directly down especially with like a microphone in front of my face which i keep hitting i hope i hope the audio comes out well i really do there were so many times where i had to like look behind me and speak away from the camera because of something i was doing uh but i mean that that's not a dig on the game itself that's just for recording purposes but overall it's i like it right you get a nice insight on Dr. Lobato, a character that wasn't really, that they really didn't do that much with in um, the first Psychonauts. So, it's nice that you get that and you get this nice little, this nice little, I guess for lack of a better word, like, heartwarming moment. Where it's like, oh man, Lobato, they really fucked them over. 
right? And you know, there's nice, uh, there's nice little jokes here and there that they have, especially callbacks to um, the first Psychonauts, which is great because this came out in 2016, and the original Psychonauts was what a 20. Not 20, I keep saying 20. <laughs> uh, this game came out 2016, I think, and the original Psychonauts was 2004, 2005, I don't remember. Um, but, you know, this was made with Epic Games, really? Huh. Psychonauts and the ROMs Ruin used the Unreal Engine, Unreal is trademark. Okay, so, yeah, 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 Epic Games for that. Oh, my bad, this is a 2017 game. Really? I thought this was 2016. It must have been early 2017. It was probably February of 2017, now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, this is a nice, this is a really nice way to get people excited for Psychonauts 2. I'll say a little bit too early, <laughs> because we're going into what, we're almost at 2022, and fucking Psychonauts is finally coming out within like a week from now. So... You know, I I can't wait to play that game. I'm so fucking... I'm happy. Double Fine would like to thank Adam Boys. Who wouldn't like to thank Adam Boys? Oh, man. But... I mean, there's not... There's not too much... Raz will return in Psychonauts 2. There's not too much to really... Talk about with this game. Because most of it is just like... You look and you see and you solve some puzzles. And you just have a fun time with the characters. It's not like difficult. And it's definitely a nice uh, stepping stone for getting into VR games. I'm not sure if they ever put this out on anything besides PlayStation VR. I don't think they did. At least from what I remember. Um, but if they have this on like Vive or Oculus. Definitely, definitely pick this up because when this game came out it wasn't even that much i think it was either like 30 or like 20 dollars even or something it was like really cheap i remember this game coming out they also had a promotion it's like you buy the ramas of ruin and then you fucking get uh the first psychonauts for free so this is a pretty good game i like it it's nice and easy uh my only real complaint i guess besides like just it's supposed to be a seated experience and like you turn around and look behind you but you're not really that's not what the experience was supposed to be um other than that it's just uh the effects that they use for the scientanium it's just it's too many of not not too many effects it's just the way the effect is going straight into your eyeballs fucking it that that probably can be seizure inducing for someone maybe i'm not sure I just, I just think that they should have stepped away from that. <laughs> but, um, other than that, it's a good game. I hope that this playthrough came out pretty well because I really didn't get a chance to monitor any of the, uh, any of the settings and stuff. And I hope that I didn't hit the microphone too much or that the audio isn't completely busted or that I'm not screaming or blowing out the audio the whole entire time. But who knows? It's my first, uh, well, this isn't my first time recording a VR game. This is a different time, but the other other time I did it, I just kind of never put it out. But, um, you know, uh, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever, all that stuff. I have a Twitch. You want to follow me there? Follow me. You want to watch, uh, <laughs> you want to watch the live streams on there? It's in the description below. And then I have a Twitter. If you want to follow me on Twitter, there's that. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not sure when I'll do another VR title, but you know what? I might just play some more VR games since I have this clusterfuck of a, of a, I don't know what to call it, <laughs> clusterfuck of a bunch of wires already gaggled together in front of my PlayStation. And, um, yeah. So, uh, next time we enter the world of Psychonauts, we're gonna be playing Psychonauts 2. And I'm really excited for that. So, I hope to see you guys there. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef, chef too.